A little bit upset today. I just feel like I don't know. I can't do anything right. I'm not. Maybe I just can't do this job. You know. What, what are you talking about, Karen? You're the like. The, when I come to the office, you're the person that I most look forward to seeing, because when your your energy and your your happiness and your positive attitude is infectious. Mm. When I'm around you, I feel like I have energy. I feel like life is good again. I feel that that I can do anything in the in the whole world all because of you. You're kidding? Really? Yes. Is that really how you feel when you're around me? Absolutely. <gasps> you are the best. Oh my goodness! I think I feel much much better now, Shane. Hey. You are so good at giving praise. So you're praising my ability to give praise. Yes, I am. Wow, so that's what I mean about you. You're, you make everybody feel so good. <gasps> Thank you, Shane. Okay, I really do feel better now. And now I really feel like I can do my job right. I am good at my job, so aren't I? We're going to be talking about customer satisfaction, and I think our customers, the people who are learning English, uh -huh. are super satisfied with your ability to teach them. <gasps> Thank you. Absolutely. I'm very pleased. Alexis is working at her day job in a convenience store. This is unacceptable. I want my money back and an apology. Get your act together. Sir, I'll process your refund in a moment. In the meantime, let me make you a cup of coffee on the house. Good. I'm still going to tell your manager. Maybe they can talk some sense into you. Very good, sir. Next customer, please. You handled that well. Don't let it get to you. Some people are so miserable that they need to make everyone feel as bad as they do. Thanks. How can I help you? Welcome to Live Interactive English. This is Karen. Hello, everybody. Hello, Karen. I am Shane, mm -hmm. and we are still talking about words of praise. That's right. And now we're going to be talking about customer satisfaction in the context of words of praise. Mm -hmm. So satisfaction, customer satisfaction means a customer is satisfied. If you're satisfied, you feel like nothing is lacking. You're happy. You feel like this is perfect. It couldn't be anything more. That's right. You feel pleased about what happened, right? Exactly. So if you're satisfied with the product, you're very happy with the product that you bought, right. right? In our example sentence, it says a survey is one way to measure our customers' level of satisfaction with our product. Mm, that's very important when you have a product. You mm -hmm. want to know how satisfied. Customers are because if they're not satisfied, they're probably not going to buy your product again in the future. They're not going to recommend your product to other people. Exactly. So their satisfaction is necessary and very important. Definitely. Okay. So Alexis is working at her day job in a convenience store. So I will be Alexis, and there will also be the customer and also Jeremy, right?、Oh, Alexis is really hardworking. She sounds like she has a day job, and that must mean that she also has a night job. Probably. A diligent worker. See, I'm <laughs> praising Alexis already. Words of praise. See how good I am at praising? <laughs> you are. <laughs> okay, so I guess I will be the customer and I will be Jeremy because these are both men. Okay, sure. All right. This is unacceptable. <gasps> I want my money back and an apology. Get your act together. <gasps> so the, the customer sounds、Whoa. really, really angry. He's so mean. Exactly. I mean, that's me. I'm so mean. <laughs> No. And Alexis, who's working at the convenience store, I wonder how she's gonna take that. I wonder what she did. Okay, so Alexis continues by saying, "Sir, I'll process your refund in a moment. In the meantime, 
Let me make you a cup of coffee on the house. <gasps> wow. wow! So Alexis didn't get angry at all at the customer yes. when the customer was yelling at her. Right? It sounds like she has pretty high EQ, huh? You are definitely right. And she said, "Okay, I'll make you some coffee on the house. That means you don't need to pay for it. It's on the house. Our company will pay for it." Yeah, that's such a weird expression. Something is on the house because mm -hmm. if you don't understand, you'll think it's on. <laughs> the house? That's so weird. So sometimes when you even go to restaurants,、yes. if they want to treat you something for free, they'll be like, "This piece of cake is on the house." Right. The point is, the house is the restaurant. It's、That's、on、right. us means we will pay for it. Exactly. Exactly. So we have a vocabulary word, apology.、Mm -hmm. So an apology is something that you give to somebody in order to express that you are sorry、exactly. or that you have done something wrong.、Mm -hmm. Right. So for example. I owe you an apology for the horrible things I said to you earlier. <laughs> I'm really sorry about that. I am so mean. Exactly. You shouldn't be so mean. You can speak nicely, I'm right? I'm sorry. You are the best. <laughs> and our next vocabulary word is refund. Refund is a noun. So refund when you go to a store to buy something or to purchase something. If you're not satisfied,、uh -huh. sometimes you can get a refund, which means I'll bring the product back and you will give me my money back. So that money that you get back is your refund. Right? right, and for example, we do not offer refunds on this type of item, <gasps> and some things that you cannot get refunds for. Exactly, a lot of times, like personal things or things that you're going to use, like underwear. Exactly, because these things might get dirty or、mm -hmm. not be sanitary、exactly. after you've used them once, so they could spread disease、mm -hmm. or make something somebody sick. Right? Exactly. Okay, so the customer. Seems to feel like okay, she did a good job. Is it? But I think he still sounds a little bit,、well, a little bit angry. What he says?、Like、getting better. Good.、Mm -hmm. I'm still going to tell your manager.、Mm. Maybe they can talk some sense into you. So to talk some sense into somebody means they're going to say something to you, and then you are going to realize or understand what you've done wrong. That's right. right? And Alexis continues by saying. Very good, sir. Next customer, please. Wow! And I did it with a nice smile. Wow! So Jeremy notices this, right?、Mm -hmm. He walks over to Alexis and says, "You handled that well. Aha! Don't let it get to you.、Mm -hmm. Some people are so miserable that they need to make everyone feel as bad as they do." Definitely, and when you say like, "Don't let something get to you,"、mm. that means don't let it bother you.、Exactly. So if some people feel bad about something, for example, like a score on a test、yeah. or somebody saying something mean to you, if you're trying to comfort、yeah. your friend, make your friend feel better, you can say, "Don't, don't let, let it get, get to you. you.、Wow. Don't Those, feel bad because of that." It feels very comforting、that. just to hear those words. Exactly. So miserable is a vocabulary word here, and if you are miserable, it just means you feel really, really sad. Or really,、mm. really unhappy or uncomfortable, right? Exactly. So our example sentence: Amanda felt miserable after her dog died. And of course, she would feel miserable. I think anyone would feel really, really miserable in that case, right? Of course, right?、Mm -hmm. And Alexis continues by saying, "Thanks. How can I help you?" Okay, so she's not talking to Jeremy. I guess、mm -hmm. she's probably talking to. The next customer in line. Probably, that's right. Wow, so she's a really good employee. That's right, and she has great customer service, right?、Ah, If you're working、yes. in the customer service industry, sometimes when customers are getting angry, it's important to handle it well. You、yes. know, always greet them with a smile, no matter what they say, because in customer service, we always say the customer is always right. Bingo. So that's something you need to learn and to keep in mind if you're ever going. To work in customer service. Exactly. Okay. Well, let's take a short break, and we'll be right back. Okay, customers. See you later.
Hello， 大家好，我是 Hanny， 今天继续来看跟赞美有关的对话。那第三段对话标题是 Customer Satisfaction， 就是客户满意度。Satisfaction 呢，它是名词，表示满意、满足。那如果我们是用 satisfied。S A T I S F I E D satisfied 则是形容满意的、心满意足的。对话里面 ，Alexis 他在便利商店上日班，有一位这个顾客就对他说：“这无法接受，我要退钱，你要跟我道歉，你要上紧发条。”好，那么 Alexis 他就好声好气的回应他说：“先生，我稍后会处理您的退款。”在此期间，我来帮您煮一杯免费的咖啡，非常高 EQ 哦。好，那一位顾客听到之后，气可能有消一点，他说：“好啦，我还是要跟你的经理说，也许他可以开导你一下。”好，我们先来看单词 apology。apology 是名词，表示道歉。那么 refund 当做名词，它是念作 refund， 表示退款、退还的金额。有些商品没办法退货、退款，可能是考量卫生问题。那么 Shane 老师用到 sanitary 这个字 ，s a n i t a r y， sanitary 是形容卫生的、清洁的。那在补充文中用到几个用语，像 get your act。Together 就是表达说做事有条不紊，上紧发条，就是振作把事情做好的意思。还有 on the house 表示店家请客，免费招待。那么 talk some sense into somebody 或者是 to somebody， 那其中的 some 也可以省略，就是表达让某人理智思考，说服某人改正他可能是不明智的行为，去开导某人的意思。好，接着对话里面 ，Jeremy 就夸赞这个 Alexis 的处理方式，请他不要把这件事放心上。有些人呢、啊，他们就是自己心情郁闷到要让所有的人都跟跟他们一样难受。好，单字 miserable， miserable， 它是形容痛苦的、悲惨的、令人难受的。这话课文中 ，Roberta helps a blind woman cross the street. I saw what you did. I'm sorry. What? You took time out of your day to help that blind woman cross the street. We need more people like you, people who help others. It was nothing. Someone else would have helped her if I hadn't. Don't say that. Be proud. You're a good person. Sorry, I'm not trying to make you feel uncomfortable. I just wanted to let you know I respect what you did. Keep it up. Thank you. Welcome back, everyone. Okay, we're still talking about words of praise. That's right. And in this part, we're talking about do respect. Respect. And what does that mean? So, if the do respect means the respect that is due. To somebody,、mm -hmm. if it's due to you, that just means that that's what you're owed. That's right. The respect that somebody you earned it. Exactly. Somebody should give you this respect because you've earned it in some way.、Mm、hmm. So we oh we have Roberta and Stan again. That's right. Our favorite characters. So Roberta helps a blind woman cross the street. <laughs> this is a classic example of doing a good deed. Exactly. Be very kind. If it's in a movie or a cartoon. Tune and you want to show somebody doing a good deed? It's helping an old lady or a blind person cross a street、mm -hmm. because the street's super dangerous. There's lots of traffic, and old people have trouble getting across.、Mm -hmm. Blind people obviously will have trouble crossing as well. And that shows, like you know, that what a nice person or a kind person that person is. Because、right? you could just ignore them, right? Because sometimes you might feel a little bit awkward to offer somebody help like that.、Mm -hmm. They might feel insulted. If they're old, you're. If you say, sometimes I'm worried about this on the MRT. I don't know about you.、Mm -hmm. You'll see somebody, and you're you're not sure how old they are. You're not sure. Do I offer them the seat?、Mm -hmm. Because maybe they'll feel offended that you're calling them old. True.、Right? So sometimes I will kind of ask them. It's like, would you like to sit down? And then sometimes they would just say no, and I'll be like, okay, that's fine. Yeah, I、right. always feel awkward about that. Okay, okay. so we start with Stan. Okay. I saw what you did.、Uh, I'm sorry. What? <laughs> you took time out of your day to help that blind woman cross the street. We need more people like you, people who help others. <gasps> 
Aww. So again, words of praise, right? Because yeah. Stan noticed that Roberta was helping the blind woman cross the street, so he wanted to show her. He's like, "Yeah, you know, that was a really nice thing that you did." But Roberta was being very humble,、mm. so Roberta goes on saying, "It was nothing. Someone else would have helped her if I hadn't." Oh, you're right. She is being quite humble, just、mm-hmm. like, well, if you were there, anybody saw that happening. Of course, they would have done the same thing, but not so, necessarily, you know. Right? Yeah.、Mm-hmm. I mean, I think you have to be a nice person, or at least not a very selfish person. Be selfless、mm-hmm. in order to take time out of your day. That's right. So Stan says, "Don't say that. Be proud.、Mm. You're a good person." Aww. Sorry, I'm not trying to make you feel uncomfortable. So maybe she was feeling a little bit uncomfortable in this. Yeah. <laughs> sometimes it does feel uncomfortable. Like to... putting her on the spot and saying, you know, like you're so great. You know, you did、yeah. such a great thing. She's like,、uh, no, don't mention it. <laughs> yeah, being praised sometimes can be pretty awkward because you don't know how to react.、True. Do you say thank you, or do you admit it, or do you act like? Actually, no, no, it's nothing at all. <laughs> I just say thank you. So he says, "I'm sorry for making you feel uncomfortable.、Uh-huh. I just wanted to let you know I respect what you did. Keep it up." Thank you. You're、that's、welcome. Very, very. That's very, very sensitive of Stan, you know,、yeah. because he noticed, you know, the expression that she has on her face, and then he wanted to make her feel. Okay, right.、Yes. But you know, we're, we've been talking about giving praise、right. and then complimenting people. I think the important thing is that when you do give people praise or compliment people, you make people want to do more and we want to become better. Yeah. Oh, I have a what a really good example. Okay. When I used to work as a barista. Okay. In the coffee shop, so the barista is the person who makes, makes coffee. coffee. I my job one of my jobs is I had to stock. Some of the cups and lids, and some of the things that we needed to make the drinks in、okay. the back.、Mm-hmm. And when I was being,、uh, when I was doing that, my manager came by and said, "You know, the way that you stock these cups and lids really impresses me. It's very, always very organized, and it, I love it when I know that you're going to be stocking the shelves. Aww. After that, every time I will stock the shelves, I will put everything very neat, and I'll make things very organized because I felt proud of myself. Exactly, and, and I want to do better. And I wanted to keep at least doing that a really good job at it, and then actually even improve it because I wanted another compliment. I、That's、wanted to、right. be praised even more. Mm-hmm. Because everyone want to be praised. Everyone want to be better, right? So、yeah. you know, when you see somebody doing something nice, or you see somebody, you know, wearing something nice. You know, don't hesitate. Just give him a word of praise. It's gonna make the world a better place. Definitely. And we'll see you guys next time. You guys are the best. You are the best. I love you guys. <音楽>好，那么第四段对话的标题是 Do respect. Do 在这边当形容词，它是形容应得到的、应有的，所以 do respect 表示应给予的尊重。在对话里面 ，Stan 有看到 Roberta 协助一位盲人女性过马路，虽然 Roberta 觉得这没什么，但是 Stan 要她自己引以为豪。Stan 想要让 Roberta 知道，他很尊敬她刚刚做的事。其实，当人们被称赞之后呢，往往都会比较有动力，想要继续努力下去。像 Shane 老师说，他以前在做这个咖啡馆的工作时，也有被主管称赞，说他把这些杯子、器具啊等等摆得很整齐。老师用到 barista 这个字 ，b a r i s t a， barista 表示咖啡馆调制咖啡的人，或者是咖啡调理师。还有 organize， 在后面加上 d 变成 organized。就可以形容是有组织的、有条理的。好，那这边两个重点，我们进入文法时间。好，来看第一个重点是 would have 加上过去分词 P P， 这是表达原本将要会是怎么样，但是没有发生。例如 ，If I had known the secret, I would have told you。要是我之前就知道那个秘密，我早就告诉你啦。那由于当时我并不知道那个秘密，所以没能告诉你这件事情没有发生。好，那么 keep up。是当及物用，它表示坚持继续做某事。我们可以用 keep up something 或者是 keep something up 来表达继续怎么样，持续怎么样。像要鼓励别人的时候，你可以说 You are doing a great job. Keep up the good work. 做得好，继续保持。
。那么另外也可以用 keep it up 来鼓励别人说加油，继续努力哦。好，那么以上是今天的讲解，同学别走开，马上回来哦。Alexis is working at her day job in a convenience store. This is unacceptable. I want my money back and an apology. Get your act together, sir. I'll process your refund in a moment. In the meantime, let me make you a cup of coffee on the house. Good. I'm still going to tell your manager. Maybe they can talk some sense into you. Very good, sir. Next customer, please. You handled that well. Don't let it get to you. Some people are so miserable that they need to make everyone feel as bad as they do. Thanks. How can I help you? Roberta helps a blind woman cross the street. I saw what you did. I'm sorry. What? You took time out of your day to help that blind woman cross the street. We need more people like you, people who help others. It was nothing. Someone else would have helped her if I hadn't. Don't say that. Be proud. You're a good person. Sorry, I'm not trying to make you feel uncomfortable. I just wanted to let you know I respect what you did. Keep it up. Thank you. You're kind of taught to be strong and to be independent, and you want to stand up for what you believe in, you know, like and your beliefs and stuff. And you don't want to make any apologies, or you don't want to apologize for any of your behavior. Hmm. I think that's actually something I've noticed. Like I have a bad habit of saying sorry all the time,、mm. even when something's my not like not my fault. So, for instance, I'll be walking and somebody bumps into me, and then I'll say sorry, even though it wasn't really me. You know, it it was them who should be saying sorry, but I just am such in the habit of like I just say sorry all the time. So I think you're right that now there's kind of a movement because I think women tend to do that a lot. We tend to apologize for things more often than men do, and so I think maybe women should do that less. And in the meantime. Men should do that more. <laughs> That's a great suggestion, Jamie.、Um, uh, I noticed also, like when I used to live abroad, I had a lot of like Aussie friends, British friends, and like just non-American or Canadian friends. And and they don't really they say sorry more like pardon, you know. So if they don't、mm -hmm. understand something, they'll be like, oh, sorry,、mm -hmm. but it's not like an apology,、mm -hmm. you know. And so when I got back to the states, I would say sorry, like oh, like excuse me, you know. And a lot of times, like different, especially women will call it out to me and be like, "Oh, you don't have to be sorry, honey." And I'm like, "I'm not really sorry. I'm just, you know, saying excuse me rather."、Um, but sometimes、uh, maybe the best thing to do instead of apologize is to get your act together. Oh, that's a good way to say, it, right? Just like if you just get your act together, you don't have to apologize for anything, right? I think that's good. And you kind of mentioned about how there's like cultural differences,、mm -hmm. and I think I've noticed that as well. Um, for example, you know, sometimes I've noticed that in the U.S., it's as long as you have the receipt, it's pretty easy to get、uh, refunds for most items. But here in Taiwan,、uh, it's not as easy unless it's like an official, like international store. There's not、mm. a lot many refunds that、mm. you would get. Yeah,、um, there's nothing. More enjoyable than like buying a whole bunch of stuff at a store, like things you want and things you don't even really need, but just buying a whole bunch of stuff at the store, and then going home and then deciding that like, ah,、oh, you don't really need all of this stuff, and you go back to the store, you get a refund, 
and then you see that money like come back to you either on a credit card or in cash, there's nothing like that satisfaction of getting the money back. Yeah, I think so too. I think, uh, I, although I don't shop that often, but I do uh, shop once in a while and though my friend, she shops too much and that makes her miserable because then she has no money left. <laughs> And yeah, Christmas shopping now these days, you know? See you next time!